Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Harvest Supply Company today I'm for you 2008 Bandit 65 XP Chipper. Uh, please apologize about my voice. I've had a cold all week and I just feel miserable. We're going to get this video done for you here. Uh, we've had several people asking for the video and we want to get this taken care of. This chipper is powered by Vanguard 35 horsepower V twin gas engine. We've had it through the shop, serviced it, fuel filter, air filter, engine oil, hydraulic, fully serviced and ready to go to work. No abnormal noise, smoke, or blow by, anything like that whatsoever. No oil leaks we have found. Coming up front, you're going to pull off a two inch uh, ball hitch, four way camper style plug. All the lights work, and we went over the lights. Serial number on this machine, tattooed right here on the frame, 40832, uh, serial number of the machine. Uh, this is a self feed. This is what they called the 007 XP series. It does have auto feed which means when you get into big material, it will stop the feed head and allow it to pick up RPM and then go back to chipping. Uh, this is what controls that. Turn the key on here. Oh, I have them. I'll show you that in a second. We have it disconnected over here so that it will not start uh, for the chipper head because we want to show you the knives. It's my fault, I'm not with it today. Lights, uh, everything there again works. Tires are excellent. Um, this fender has had a dinge in it, and someone's touched that paint off. Coming back here to the feed table, you'll see the feed table's in nice shape, not welded or busted. Um, same with the feed wheel in very nice shape. Usually these feed tables are all the way up. Watch it just the way it's supposed to. Pull this one back out. <laughs> Coming around, it's not blown out in this section here at all. No wheel leaks. Not all welded or busted up up in here. There was a couple little scars here on the side where a piece of material went through. And at your chipper disc. Disc is nice shape. The edges are still nice and squared. They're not all rounded over. Has brand new knives in it. They've never been turned, obviously, because we just put them in. There's brand new knives in this chipper. Um, main bearings and stuff are good. We'll go ahead and close this back up. this safety plug in for it to activate and it actually does what exactly what it was supposed to do and that the switch right here also has to be pushed in or it will not allow this chipper to turn on or start which is a good safety with one little wee weld here on a safety panel I'm just pointing it out I want to be 100% honest with people fenders are good and straight on this side hydraulic gas tank is in the front uh, bearings everything takes grease just the way it's supposed to Chute rotates and also back here while we're here, see the chute is not all messed up. A couple little dings, but nothing is worth thin or holes or anything like that. We're gonna come back around now, show you here at the hour meter, 872, and then it'll go to a tachometer once it starts. So at this time, let me go ahead and start this chipper. We're gonna run some materials through it so you can see the chips the way we say it done.
type of sudden stop that would indicate a bearing bad. Let's walk over here and see what it's skipping. That was locust material we were chipping. See what it's putting out. I don't know how to be any more honest. We live in such a distrusting world today. Nobody takes a man for his word. But if you can't see this from this video, then I might as well quit my job today. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative to you. I hope it makes you understand that this is a good running working chipper and we have nothing to hide. It's not a brand new chipper, as I've told you on the phone. But it is a good running and working chipper uh, that we've serviced and through. Uh, and feel is a very good machine. One other thing, right here you can see, there's no access of play, a small little wee bit of mount in your drive motor that couples to the feed wheel. And if you, I've seen chippers where that motor goes like this. Uh, so, and again, feed, uh, shoot here, basically pull back in stop position, rotate around over, lock, in place, done. So, you got any questions on this 2008 Bandit 65 XP 007 XP series, please let us know. We'll be glad to answer anything you need to know. If you need a shipping quote, let us know on that. We'll be glad to get you one. If you want to come see us yourself in person, run material through it, come on, we'll cut you down some trees. So 814-658-3066. Always check us out on our website, www.marksupplyco.com. See us on Tractor House, Machinery Trader, and on eBay at Mark Supply 88. As always, thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company, and have a good day.